spent the day in the neighborhood. Tara, you just talked to witnesses and family members. I'm sure understandably still very upset by all of this. Absolutely, Danita. This family is doing everything they can to keep it together. They told me today that one of the little girls was actually inside the house when she got shot. The other one out on the front steps in her mother's arms, shot in the forehead. She's still in critical condition today. Holes in the front of the house. And a big hole right there. A trail of blood from the front steps where a three-year-old girl sitting in her mother's lap. She was sleeping on her shoulder. The baby got hit. Was shot in the forehead. I don't think she's going to make it through the night, but this girl, this girl, it's been one tough cookie. Thank you. Sally Davis is nine year old, inside watching TV, hit in the back. The bullet missed the spine. Davis told me she was doing laundry when a black car pulled up out front. The men inside yelled something at the people out front. Then they just started firing like seven shots. Bam, 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 bam. She calls it totally random. This family just picked this house. Somebody got in an argument and they was looking for a problem. What do you have to say to the people who did this? I just hope they get caught and they're going to pay. They're going to pay for this crime they did. Not one crime, they did two. Cleveland police are investigating this. I just checked in with them. There still have been no arrests in connection with these shootings. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News 5 Now.